Muslims have become really sad and desperate lately. And as we know, desperate times need desperate measures. Muslims dropped all the verses from our Holy Bible to prove to us that Muhammad is mentioned there. They today only go to the book of Isaiah 42, chapter 42, especially chapter 42. But what they are doing is they are even rejecting what the Quran says to prove to us that Muhammad is mentioned in our Holy Bible. Why? Because if you go to chapter 7, ayah 157, it clearly says that Muhammad is mentioned in the Torah and the Injil. But we know that the book of Isaiah is not part of the Torah or the Injil. It is part of the Tanakh. Right? So Muslims have no clue what they are talking about and they have to use deception and all kind of gymnastics to prove to us that Muhammad is mentioned in our holy scripture. So today we are going to expose all these so-called hero heroes of Muslims. They are heroes who try to force Muhammad in our scripture. They are even rejecting their own Quran to prove for us that their so-called prophet is in our holy scripture and we are going to show you that they are actually worshiping Muhammad when they are doing that when they go to the book of Isaiah chapter 42 we're going to spank them one by one in this video so I ask you to subscribe and smash the like button so we can start this teaching. This was Moses, before Moses was Abraham, before Abraham was Jacob. Now the last prophet is Muhammad No liar, before Abraham there was no Jacob. Jacob came much later. He said before Abraham was Jacob. You liar, you deceiver, why are you lying? Shame on you Mr. Shamsi. This guy is called Shamsi and he's a known speaker. Uh, in Speaker's Corner in London. He said clearly, and you heard him, before Abraham was Jacob. That's not true. You are lying and you are a deceiver. Shame on you. Let me play it again for you to hear what he said. Before Abraham was Jacob. Before Abraham was Jacob. Now Shamsi is going to prove to us that Muhammad is in Isaiah chapter 42. Watch and try not to laugh. The last prophet is Muhammad alayhi salatu I say to you Samson, now let me go to Isaiah 42. I will do a quick way because the brother will take it long. Listen to Isaiah 42, yeah? And be open, yeah? Isaiah 42, speaking about the servant coming to glorify the Lord. Yes? Listen to this, yeah? Here it says, yes? Yeah? Let the wilderness or let the desert and its cities lift up their ways. Let the, uh, the village that kid in heaven. So speaking about specific people. So I went to Prophet Google, peace be upon him, to see where Kedar exactly is in the time of Isaiah 42. Kedar is here, and this is all called Arabia back then. And here is Medina. Muslims love to tell you that Kedar is in Medina, which is a big fat lie. They use deception, they use lies to deceive their audience. Those poor illiterate Muslims who listen to people like this fake scammer, this liar Samshi or Shushu or whatever his name is, to tell you that Kedar is in Medina. No, Kedar is not Medina. Kedar is basically in the south of Jordan, here. Here's another map. This is Kedar. So the son of Ishmael stayed here. This is all considered to be Arabia back then. And Medina is much more south, down here. And here's another map. Here's Kedar, as you see. You see, it says here Arabia. Here's Kedar, and Medina is all the way down there. You liar, Samshi, Shamshi, Shushu, you're a liar, you are a deceiver. Shame on you for lying again. Trying to force Muhammad inside Isaiah 42. Shame on you. You have no shame. You have no dignity. Ishmael. And who? Kedar. So the prophet speaking about 
clearly speaking about Qaeda. And historically speaking, Samsung, there is no prophet come after Isaiah from, from the, the lineage of Qaeda except Prophet Muhammad. That's why I would challenge anyone to, to prove to me, historically speaking, from the Muslim side and the non-Muslim side, where this prophecy fits no one except who? The Prophet Muhammad You see, this liar, this deceiver, as we showed you, Kedar is all the way up north and Medina is all the way down south. Was that a challenge? He challenged us. He challenged anyone to prove that this is talking about Muhammad. Then according to you, Mr. Liar and Deceiver, your prophet must come very close to a part called Kedar, which is the south of Jordan and not from Medina, as the Islamic sources say. So according to this liar and deceiver, this Shushu or Shamsi or whatever his name is, according to him, his prophet does not come from Medina or Mecca. He comes from Kedar, which is all the way up north. Any Muslim who agrees with this Samshi, Shamsi, Shushu, any Muslim, please be my guest. But we know that this guy is nothing but a liar and illiterate a jackass and a deceiver lying about his prophet for his own personal agenda as you see these people have no shame have no dignity they are nothing but liars and deceivers shame on you mr shamsi for lying about your prophet trying to force muhammad inside Isaiah 42 I'm also going to show you the deception of this YouTube channel called The Merciful Servant. They have more than 2.6 million subscribers and these people are nothing but liars and deceivers. And I'm going to expose their lies and deception right here, right now. Watch. I say it states that this special person will be a warrior and will go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. So as you see, this Abdul is clearly trying to force Muhammad in Isaiah 42, 13. He is deliberately trying to force his fake prophet in this verse. This verse does not talk about Muhammad, it is talking about the Lord will go forth as a mighty man. So he deliberately removed two words, which is the and Lord. The Lord go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail again over his enemies. You, Mr. Merciful Servant, or whoever made this video on that YouTube page, you are nothing but a liar and a deceiver and you have no shame and you have no dignity. Playing with our scripture, removing words to deceive your Muslim audience for your own personal deceptive agenda. Shame on you. You truly have no dignity. You have no shame. If we go to Isaiah 42, verse 13 i'm going to prove to you that he deliberately removed the lord go forth he removed those two first two words that's how muslims are they will always deceive to force their fake prophet in our scripture let us go to isaiah 42 verse 13 from our bible this is Isaiah 42, 13 from the King James Version. As you see, the Abdul from Merciful Servant, he deliberately placed three dots instead of the Lord. Did you catch it? The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. So who is the warrior here? It's the Lord himself, not Muhammad. You filthy 
liars and deceivers have no shame you have no dignity removing God from our scripture himself and trying to force Muhammad instead you truly have no shame you are truly Satan followers you are truly Satan worshipers for playing with the Holy Bible like it is a toy as if it is a toy in your hands shame on you for doing that so no it's not talking about Muhammad it's talking about the Lord himself the Lord will prevail against his enemies not Muhammad so thank you for showing us that you are nothing but a mushrik and if your Muslim audience believe in what you say they are also mushrikeen with you you commit shirk day and night and we know you Muslims actually worship Muhammad this is why you want to force Muhammad in Isaiah 42 in verse 13 removing the Lord and placing three dots deliberately trying to force Muhammad instead you truly have no shame you have no dignity and you are nothing but a mushrik you're nothing but a mushrik shame on you I say it states that this special person will be a warrior and will go forth as a mighty man he shall stir up jealousy like a man of war he shall cry yea roar he shall prevail against his enemies Throughout history, God has dealt sternly with those who are sent guidance and persist in disbelief. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had to engage in many battles with the idol-worshipping enemies of God and ultimately prevailed against them. By so as you heard, he's really trying to force Muhammad into this. He has really no shame. He has no dignity. So he's wanting to tell you that it's not the Lord who will prevail over his enemies it's Muhammad thank you for showing us again that you are nothing but a mushrik you are nothing but a mushrik shame on you calling Muhammad God himself you see how deceptive they are placing three dots instead of the Lord they really have no shame they have really no honor no dignity nothing you know the devil will always try to do his best to deceive humans and these people are nothing but devil worshippers followers of Satan using deception to deceive as many as they can are the Arabs so the people of this prophet is going to be sent to the Arabs listen to this it's mentioned also that he will be a warrior prophet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's going to be sent to the people of Kedar, the Arabs. And then the people on the, the Mounts of Sela will be rejoicing. What are the Mounts of Sela? Where is it? By the way, I'll tell you where the Mounts of Sela are. They're in a place called Medina. I'll tell you where that is in a second. It's in the Arabian Peninsula. He will be a warrior prophet. He will prevail over his enemy. As you heard, these people have no shame. They really have no dignity. This is Muhammad Hijab who said, Allah prays for, not to Muhammad. This is the Muhammad Hijab who said that. You see, this guy is also another deceiver. Like Shamsi. Like those other people from Merciful Servant. This Muhammad Hijab lying and using deception to force Muhammad inside Isaiah 42 as we showed you no it's not the warrior prophet it's the Lord himself who is the warrior who will prevail over his enemies against his enemies it's Lord Almighty God Almighty who will be the warrior who will prevail against his enemies Shame on you for forcing Muhammad in our holy scripture. Shame on you for showing ev to everybody that you are nothing 
but a mushrik. You want to call Muhammad God? Go ahead. Be my guest. Muslims, wake up. Your heroes, like Muhammad Hijab, like Shamsi, like Merciful Servant, they are nothing but liars and deceivers. And we proved it over and over in this video. Guys, thank you for watching. Please download this video, share it around on social media, and God bless. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies.